Hello, I'm Dr. Elena Diaz. Let's have a very honest conversation about something that can quietly steal your confidence. It's bad breath. It's the feeling of instinctively turning your head. When your grandchild comes in for a hug, it's the hesitation to laugh freely with friends. It's a private anxiety that affects millions of people, especially after the age of 60. Now, the title of this video is very bold. Mix one drop of this in your toothpaste and bad breath disappears. It sounds like a magic trick. And I want to be very clear from the outset, there is no single magic drop. But that one drop is a metaphor for a powerful, scientifically grounded method that you can add to your oral care routine. A method that targets the root cause of stubborn bad breath in a way that your toothbrush alone simply cannot. Today, we're going to uncover that method and give you a complete action plan for truly fresh breath and a healthier mouth. Part one, the real enemy, why brushing isn't enough. Before we get to the solution, we have to understand the real enemy. I had a patient, a wonderful 70-year-old gentleman named Robert. He was brushing three times a day, flossing, using mouthwash, doing everything right. But he told me, Dr. Diaz, I just don't feel fresh. My wife has even mentioned it gently. Robert's problem wasn't a lack of effort. His problem was that his mouth had changed. For many seniors, there are two key reasons why bad breath becomes so persistent. One, dry mouth. This is a huge factor. Hundreds of common medications for blood pressure, allergies, and depression have dry mouth as a side effect. Saliva is your body's natural mouthwash. It neutralizes acids and washes away food particles and bacteria. When you have less of it, your mouth becomes a perfect stagnant environment for odor-causing bacteria to thrive. Two, the bacterial hideouts, stubborn bad breath, is caused by specific types of bacteria that release smelly gases called volatile sulfur compounds. These bacteria are anaerobic, meaning they hate oxygen, so they don't just live on the surface of your teeth. They hide in places your toothbrush can't easily reach, deep in the microscopic pits on your tongue, below the gum line, and in the crevices of any dental work or dentures. Simply brushing the surfaces is like mopping the floor in a dusty room. Without ever dusting the furniture, you're missing the source of the problem. Part two, the one drop method revealed. The power of oil pulling. So what is this powerful method that can reach where your toothbrush can't? It's a technique that has been used for centuries and is now being understood by modern science. It's called oil pulling and our one drop. Today is a spoonful of coconut oil. What is it? Oil pulling is the simple act of swishing, a small amount of edible oil in your mouth for a period of time, and then spitting it out before you brush your teeth. The science behind it. This isn't a mystical process. It's simple biology. The bacteria that cause bad breath and plaque are single-celled organisms, and their cell membrane is made of fat lipids. When you swish oil around your mouth, the fats in the oil naturally attract and bind to the fatty membranes of the bacteria. They get pulled out from their hiding spots. Coconut oil is particularly effective because it's rich in lauric acid, which has proven antimicrobial properties. A simple analogy. Think of trying to clean a greasy pan with just water. It doesn't work well. But if you use a little soap, which has fatty molecules, it grabs the grease and washes it away. Oil pulling works in a similar way for these fat-soluble bacteria in your mouth. The simple, four-step oil pulling protocol. One, the dose. First thing in the morning, before eating or drinking anything, put about one tablespoon of organic cold-pressed coconut oil in your mouth. Two, the swish. Gently swish the oil around your mouth. Push and pull it through your teeth. Do this for five to 10 minutes. You don't need to be aggressive. You can do this while you make your coffee or get dressed. Three, the spit. This is crucial. When you're done, spit the oil into a trash can, not your sink. The oil can solidify and clog your pipes. The oil will look milky white because it's now full of saliva and trapped bacteria. Four, the rinse and brush. Rinse your mouth thoroughly with warm water and then brush your teeth as you normally would. By doing this before you brush, you are effectively removing a huge load of bacteria, allowing your toothpaste to do a much better job on cleaner surfaces. Part three, the complete fresh breath system beyond the drop. Oil pulling is a powerful first step, but for truly unshakable confidence, you need a complete system. One, you must clean your tongue. The tongue's rough surface is the number one hiding place for VSC producing bacteria. After brushing your teeth, use a tongue scraper. It's far more effective than a toothbrush for removing that. 
white or yellowish film. Start from the back of your tongue and gently pull forward. You will be shocked at what comes off. This single habit can make a massive difference. Two, hydrate for your life. This directly fights dry mouth. Sip on water throughout the day. Not juice, not soda, plain water. Keeping your mouth moist is one of the simplest and most effective ways to keep bad breath at bay. Three, don't forget to floss or water floss. Bacteria hiding between teeth are a major source of odor. If traditional flossing is difficult due to arthritis or dental work, a water flosser is an excellent and highly effective alternative that can flush out bacteria from below the gum line. Conclusion from bad breath to total body health. The one drop of coconut oil in your routine isn't a magic cure. It is the cornerstone of a smarter, more effective oral hygiene system. Bad breath is more than just an embarrassing social problem. It is often a sign that your oral microbiome is out of balance. By taking control of it, you're not just improving your breath. You're reducing the inflammatory load on your entire body. The complete system is simple. 1. Start your day with oil pulling to remove the bulk of bacteria. 2. Scrape your tongue daily. 3. Brush and floss properly. 4. Stay hydrated all day long. This is how you move from masking the problem with mints and mouthwash to solving it at its source. This is how you regain the confidence to laugh loud, speak close, and live fully. My challenge to you, try tongue scraping. Start tomorrow morning. It takes 10 seconds and the results are immediate. Let me know in the comments how it goes. If you found this practical, science-based information helpful, please give this video a like and share it with someone who might need to hear this. And please subscribe for more honest, no hype advice on how to live a long and healthy life. I'm Dr. Elena Diaz. Thank you for your time. Be well.